In this video, I'm gonna be going through what to do when you're bringing chickens home for the first time. And stay tuned till the end because I'll answer some questions maybe as a first time chicken owner that you may be wondering like, when will my chicken start laying eggs? As well as what to do when taking your chickens back to their coop. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. So you've worked out how much room chickens need, designed your chicken coop and your chickens or chicks or pullets are on the way. I can remember the excitement of waiting for the delivery of my new chickens. My first question was, I wonder how long it'll be until they lay their first eggs. Are you wondering what you need to do when they first arrive and how you can get them off to the best possible start in life? Well, don't look any further because I'll go through exactly what I did when we received our 18 week old hens and how we got them laying sooner rather than later. Let's first talk about what to do when your chickens first arrive. Although temptation is for you to be very loud and excited when they first arrive, this is the worst thing you can do. Your chickens will be very confused and daunted after after their journey and will be afraid of any loud noises. If you're interested in learning more about transporting chickens humanely, I can link to that article in the description. The best thing you can do is carry them into their coop and lock them in there. They will normally be delivered inside a cardboard box, so make sure to leave them inside the cardboard box and just place the box inside the coop. You can then open the flap of the cardboard box so the chickens can leave the box once they are feeling confident enough. The only thing inside the coop at this point should be some water and pellets or crumbs which can be spread on the floor. Check up on your chickens in a few hours and you'll find that they have probably left their cardboard box and are happily roosting together. If they are still inside the cardboard box, lift them out one by one and place them on the roosting bars. The reason behind leaving them locked in their coop for their first 24 hours is that they will realize that the coop is their home. When you eventually let them out of the pen, they will happily return to the coop to roost in the evenings. Just from my experience and my friends' experiences, chickens who haven't been in the coop at the start tend to be a little bit more stubborn and don't return to the coop in the evenings without persuasion. Now, let's talk about checking local ordinances. Now, right around now is the best time to double check the local laws in your area. Some areas have changed ordinances when it comes to raising chickens. You can check with the city clerks and see if it's perfectly legal to raise chickens in your backyard or farm. There are also local laws available online that you can easily browse over. If you're getting chickens for the first time, the last thing you want is to be reprimanded for not following the laws in the first place. Also, make sure you do some research beforehand. This means knowing the basic needs of your chickens when they get home. It also pays to continue your research about raising chickens, even if you already have them. For instance, you need to know more about moving chickens to a new coop or how to manage the flock with new ones. And also just continue learning as you are going through the chicken owning process. You get to grasp new things and other experiences that you weren't able to research and just continue learning and taking initiative as you get more exposed in this experience. You'd be amazed at the things you could learn just from firsthand experience. Now let's talk about introducing them to their pen. Once they've spent 24 hours in the coop, it's time to introduce them to their pen or run for the first time. This is an exciting moment and a great opportunity to get a really good view of your new chickens. It's important at this point to say, don't force your chickens out of their coop. All you need to do is open their coop door and wait. For added incentive, you can spread some feed in their pen along with fresh water. If you're not sure what to feed them, we have a beginner's guide on feeding chickens that I can link to in the description. The more curious chickens will leave the coop first and explore, but within a few minutes, the rest of the flock should come out and join them. If after a few hours, the flock is still inside the coop, give them a gentle push out into the pen. You can leave your chickens for the rest of the day now to explore their new environment and get comfortable. Now let's talk about what to do when you have your own coop. If you've built your own coop or run in your yard for your chickens, now is a good time to test its ability to contain them as well as the safety of the coop. When you're in construction mode, it can be easy to overlook important features that may allow for chickens to escape, become stuck, or even allow predators to enter. So even if you leave your chickens alone to enjoy their new space, it's important to return frequently in the beginning to guarantee their safety and make any adjustments in their new home. You might be surprised at what chickens can get into in short amount of time, especially if they are flighty birds. Heads can get stuck, water buckets can get tipped over, and birds can escape. So just make sure to check back frequently in the beginning and then taper off as the day goes on. Now let's talk about introducing your chickens to an established flock. In most cases, you would need to quarantine your new chickens before putting them together with an existing flock. So when can I let my chickens chickens out. After checking symptoms for any chicken disease, you can slowly introduce them to the flock after 7 to 31 days. The best way to introduce new chickens to your existing flock is to let them free range first. Some of your birds would greet the new chickens they meet, but if this doesn't work like this, you don't need to worry. It sometimes takes three to four attempts before your new birds can adjust to the existing flock. 
Now let's talk about bringing chickens home and introducing them to other pets. If you're bringing chickens home that is filled with other pets, make sure to introduce them under supervision. Dogs are often protective around chickens. However, if your dogs and cats chase them, it's best to keep them apart. You can even keep the new flock on their side of the farm and focus on moving chickens to new coop. And now let's talk about taking your new chickens back to their coop. But before I get into that, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also subscribe to our website, thehappychickencoop.com. If you subscribe using the link in the description, you'll receive a free ebook on the 10 best egg laying chicken breeds. All right, so when it starts to get dark, it's important you go back outside and make sure your chickens are inside their coop. I've always found that by getting the chickens used to the coop before they are allowed in the pen, they are much more likely to go back into the coop when it's dusk. If your chickens aren't in the coop yet, gently move them towards the coop. One method you can do use is a large sheet of wood, maybe that's by eight by six feet. You can have a person at either end of the wood and drag the wood across the floor, moving the chickens back towards the coop. It's important that any move you make around the chickens is calm and slow. Don't charge at them with the wood, whatever you do. Now, if you're interested in maybe some other creative ways to catch your chickens because it's time to put them up, I've actually done a video on some methods you can check out. I'll link to that in the cards. A great question at this point, which people ask is, is all this necessary if I'm planning on letting my chickens free range? Yes, this is still necessary and perhaps even more important if you're planning on letting your chickens free range. Before they free range, they need to know exactly where their home is. Otherwise, you'll find your chickens roosting in nearby trees if you're not careful. So how long will it take until your chickens settle in? Now, you may find that for the following week or so, your chickens need to be encouraged to leave the coop in the morning and go back to it during dusk. As I just went through, to do this, just leave the coop door open and sprinkle food out in the pen. After a week or so, they will leave and return to their coop on their own and your chickens will be settling in nicely. At this point, if you are planning on letting your chickens free range, you can take down your temporary pen and let them roam. After their first day of free ranging, make sure they return back to their coop during the evening. Evening. If you're interested in learning about the benefits of free-ranging chickens, I can link to an article here in the description. There are certain signs to also look for to check if your chickens are settling in and becoming happy in their environment. They should dig for bugs and merrily cluck as they do so. Speaking of clucking, they should begin to cluck at each other more often. And lastly, another great sign is that they will take dust baths. This behavior will be in stark contrast to unhappy and scared hens. Unhappy hens will pace around constantly and are very noisy. You will learn to notice the difference between a scared squawk and a happy cluck. After a week or so, if you have any pets or young children, you can now introduce them to the chickens. For the first week, we just let them settle in on their own without the audience. If you do have any dogs, make sure to keep them on a leash when you introduce them to your chickens. You might be surprised to find that chickens can actually recognize their owner's dogs as well. So when will my chickens start laying eggs? The answer to this question mainly depends on both the breed and age of the chickens which you've bought. Some breeds, such as Buff Orpingtons, can lay over 200 eggs per year, whereas other breeds, such as silkies don't lay that many and can lay up to 100 eggs per year. Of course, the other factor is age. If you purchased a started pullet, that's a hen between 15 and 22 weeks old, then you should find within three to four weeks of them arriving, you will have your first egg. You will probably find the first few eggs will have soft shells and might be slightly odd shaped. This will settle down after a week or so. If this continues, I have an article on what to do as far as feeding them, which I can link to in the description. However, if you've purchased mature chickens, and these are chickens that are one year old or older, you will find they start laying sooner. Give them several days to settle in and then you should find they'll start laying again. You also might find that they may start laying as soon as they arrive and then after a few days stop laying. This is totally normal. Give them a few days to settle in and again, they should start laying again. As a general rule of thumb, pure breed pullets like Rhode Island Reds or Plymouth Rocks or Leghorns will start to lay from around 20 weeks old. Hybrid pullets will start at around 18 weeks old. One last thing to remember is the time of year greatly affects when your chickens will also start laying. If you get your chickens during the winter, then it will be a lot longer until they start laying. However, get your chickens in the spring and they should be up and laying in no time. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to check out this one over here. That's gonna do it for us here at the Happy Chicken Coop YouTube channel. If you find our content interesting, if you learned something new, like the video, subscribe to the channel. With that, I hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.